activity guy. What's crazy cool about these spots? What they like to do is like to get in those crevices, man. I'm pretty sure that's where they took away at night and just hide out and they go up in them barrels, make their way out to the other side. I mean, that they're smart. They're smart buggers, man. Just because they're old, don't make them dumb by no means. You got a guard right here. All right, so I started that video on a little bit more quieter note, but uh, we're out here at uh, our, our park. Uh, I like to call it the bait park slash uh, cut camp. But we just go ahead and fillet up everything we got. But uh, yeah, man, we're trying to hook up on that guard. So we just came down here to uh, get us some uh, mullet, man. Get a whole bunch of mullet. And uh, we're just going to chum it up in the area and just get as much mullet as we can, man. So we can bring you guys the guard catch and cook tonight. So you guys stay tuned. Check out what these guard can do, you guys. Yeah, we've been chumming it up out here. But check out what that guard can do. I just wasn't paying attention. And he just tore this pinfish up, AKA piggy perch. But guess what, check it out you guys. My cousin Ricky's already got one. I'm working on hooking up on one right now, you guys. Exciting, you guys, exciting, exciting, man. We came out here for the guard, bro. Guess what, we got what we came for. So uh, yeah, man, a lot of people tell me too, man, the big alligator guards and you know, the big mamas and the the spotted you wanna uh, you wanna go at night, man. You wanna gig them at night, man. But uh, all right. So yeah, man. We hooked up on a my cousin hooked up on a crazy cool spotted guard. Now, if you guys know anything about spotted guard, you know those guys get stay uh, remotely smaller than alligator guard. Uh, they're still as mount as uh, aggressive. They're super aggressive, and uh, they still have armor plated skin. So here's what we're using: not fillet knives today. I mean, we'll definitely fillet them up get the inner meat, get the back straps. But here's what we're using to get into them, man. Gator guard, spotted guard, long nose guard. All those guard have, are known to have armor plated skin, you guys. So thank you so much for my cousin behind the camera for hooking up on that guard, man. He measures right at about two feet, uh, about 22 inches. So another two inches, he'd have been right at two feet. And uh, yeah, he's definitely a keeper. Like I said, spotted guard don't get that big. So uh, in the state of Texas, you're allowed one guard per person, any size. And uh, you can hook them up any way you want. You could you could hook them up. You can net them up. You could bow fish. You could gig for them. However you want to catch guard, you can catch them however you like in the state of Texas. We just happened to hook up on a, uh, what did you hook up on? Was that shrimp? Yeah. Uh, a little bit of dead shrimp. And hey, that's, that's just how it was, you guys. So uh, let's get to it, you guys. Stay tuned. All right, you guys. So here is our catch and cook today. Uh, scales of, of, a, of a beast man these guys are prehistoric he's he went limp so he, I'm pretty sure he's gone now uh, but these guys are prehistoric man these guys have been around almost as long as gators and sharks they are related to uh whether they, they were they not no they're they're still fish uh don't let me lie to you guys and that's why he's called a spotted if you guys pay attention the top of his head is all spotted up and he's rock solid you guys so look check us out this is our artillery of choice. Filet knives, yeah, whatever. No, this is what you need to get into these guard, you guys. So, um, excuse us for the terrible lighting where we filet fish at. We usually filet fish during the day at my dad's, and this is the only station I know of to go to to come and filet. So, um, bear with us with the lighting, you guys. Take a good look at our artillery because if you're ever deciding to hook up on guard, gator guard, spotted guard, needle nose guard, doesn't matter. If you're planning to hook up on a guard fish, this is what you will need, so uh, stay tuned. All right, you guys, so like I said, you guys are gonna have to bear with me with the lighting. Uh, so you wanna start off by making an incision right here. And look at that, man, this, this saw is like, it's like, dude, it's crazy to, to see what, what you have to do to, to get into them. So yeah, uh, we, we literally just had to use garden freaking shears to get into this guy, you guys. 
There we go, there we go, okay. So now we're getting, guys, a knife is just like, no, you're, you're just, you're wasting your time doing this right here with a knife, man. It's just dulling my blade down every single time. I mean, these scales are like freaking armor, you guys. Even my bolt cutters are doing a crappy job, so we may not get the whole fillet job on film, but uh, let's crack them open first and we'll get back to you guys. All right, so check it out, you guys. Those uh, freaking garden shears finally got us cut open all the way. That's his intestine track, everything. We're gonna leave that alone. I'm not gonna mess with the rib cage, but like I said, this stuff is armor plated, but check it out. I've got into that armor plate. I'm able to get into that armor plate and I'm, I'm getting, look at that, I'm getting behind his meat. Look at that. Oh, I can just pull his meat away right there, just like that. And I'm just pulling away at his meat. You guys take a look at that. Look at that. That's all armor plating. So uh, let me get up in here, you guys. We'll get right back with you. All right, so I don't know why my dumb self didn't bend jump out with these scissors, man. If you got kitchen scissors, man, or uh, shears, they do call these kitchen shears, too. I don't, whatever you want to call them, man. They come with your silverware set, your knife set, your cutlery set go with them man because these things are doing what we want them to do so the thing with these guard man you can only keep the back straps but that's okay we're gonna get off our back straps and uh it's going down you guys so we've cut into him completely he's completely cut into you guys and let's take a look at that meat you could just yeah no i, I thought i could just peel them off but uh Looks like I may have to work them with my knife. So, uh, go ahead and get my knife going and just peel that meat back. All right, you guys, you're looking at back straps right here. And we're just gonna uh, do our fillet job now. We got this, the, the skin off, man, the hard part, man. That was just crazy, crazy hard, man. I've never filleted a fish with that type of skin man i really do see what those guys talk about now when they say you need boat cutters you need wire cutters you need this you need that i believe them and i know exactly what they're talking about you guys but um yeah so right now we're just gonna work on getting these fillets off it's getting real real easy it's real real cool to Put some meat on the table you guys i love doing stuff like this if you guys know me you guys know i love doing stuff like this my cousin hooked up you guys just can't ask for a better saturday and this is how i spend my weekend my girlfriend's at work so yeah this is how we're doing it and we're doing it up exotic ed style now we're watching not to cut on that uh that rib cage we're just above that rib cage right about there just above the rib cage we're getting out our fillet right now. Watch out for that piece of rib. Look that. That's all rib right there. I guess I'll just follow that rib line and cut my, my back straps from that rib line. And yeah, that's that seems to be the best bet right there. Just directly off of that rib. No bone. I may have a little bit I may have to mess with whenever I... I uh, Whenever I finish my fillet job. Let's see. Okay. So we got a little bit of bone on there, but uh, we'll clean it up. It's a lot bloody, but look at that. That's one whole fillet, you guys, of meat. I mean, that's definitely enough to make a meal right there. You know, fish dip, whatever you want to do. So let's get this other side, you guys. All right, you guys, before we get into that second portion of the cooking part of the gar um i like to start off by saying man i hate that 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 this video wasn't as content filled as i'd have liked it uh but that happens sometimes man a lot of things happen drastically sometimes you go out there as soon as you get out there you'll hook up on whatever you plan to hook up on sometimes you'll sit out there for hours and never you know come close to getting what you're trying to target uh but that was the case in this video so uh, you know, it's just just something to you know uh, keep in mind. But uh, with that being said, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. And um, I hate, I hate, I hate that I didn't get that meat cleaned up for you guys. And 
you know, show it on camera for that aesthetic, aesthetic look. But I guarantee you, once that gar meat is cleaned up and uh, washed off, ready to be cooked, it is such a pink, gorgeous meat. I mean, I love it, man. It tastes amazing. I can't wait to jump on some of those huge gator gar that offer big old steaks worth of uh, fillets, man, and, and huge, huge cuts of meats, man. But, um, yeah, man, that with, with that being said, uh, you guys take that into consideration. Uh, and, uh, yeah, just enjoy the rest of this content. So, what we're doing right now, we got all our veggies diced up, chopped up, and we're mincing our gator, uh, I'm sorry, our spot nose, uh, or spotted gar right now. We're just mincing them up into small little chunks. And uh, we're making uh, gar balls, you guys. So, uh, we got our cornmeal base, a little Worcester sauce for the saltiness, and uh, just to give it a little bit more extra pizzazz on it, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, we're just mincing it all up. We're gonna mix it all together. Pour and mill it up and gator balls on the way, you guys. I mean, gar balls on the way. So, you guys stay tuned. Moment of truth, you guys. We have our gar ball with green peppers and onions. And then we grilled up that cat uh, when we did the when we did the catch and cook on the half shell. So. You can't go wrong with frying up anything, let alone catfish, so. Catfish is amazing, fried. Let's dig into these gar balls, you guys. So. Sorry, my muscle shirt's worn out. All right, so, gar ball taste test. Like I said, we did this with the cornmeal deal. Look at that. Oh, that looks so pretty. It's a lot of veggies in there, but that's okay. Next time, I'm gonna go a little bit more lighter on the veggies, but um, if this doesn't taste like gator, I don't know what would taste like yet because this definitely does. Definitely good. It's really good, you guys. Um, this is our first meal. And of course, we got breakfast early this morning and um, we got our stomach full because we went and jumped on the water. But um, other than that, this is the first meal. Catfish, spot on. Gar balls, we'll do them in the future again. Hopefully, we can jump on bigger gar, gator gar, and uh, we can actually grill up some gar and um, even do gator, uh, I mean, gar balls too. But uh, that's gonna wrap up this catch and cook, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, awesome time fishing. New to the channel, man, please subscribe. Turn that notification bell on. Get in the comments, and um, when I catch stuff or I go targeting fish, um, you guys drop some recipes that you want me to try, man. I, Cause you know I, I just like eating. So the whole cooking part, you know, I'll do it. But uh, you guys just, you know, drop, get in the comments, man. Get some recipes for me, man. You can fry just about anything, but you know, give me some recipes. So. Uh, I was gonna wrap it up for this video, you guys. I'm gonna finish this food up, enjoying it. And um, yeah, you guys stay tuned, man. Leave a thumbs up. God bless. I'm out.